In the orphanage, I was not allowed to play soccer simply because I was a girl. Even though I got in trouble many times, I had my shorts under my skirt. I just had my shoes hiding and I went, put them on, got in the field. I still did it because that was a passion that I had. The Lord gave me that gift for a reason. I grew up in 14 different orphanages. At two years old, that's when I got separated from my siblings, including my twin sister. It was so hard. There was no electricity, there was no water, and if we were lucky enough to have three meals, it would be tortilla and salt. I remember experiencing hope for the very first time when I received my Operation Christmas Child shoebox gift at the age of six years old. It was my first Christmas present. I remember screaming as loud as I could, wow, this is just incredible. For the first time, I had something that I can say is my own. I even remember sleeping with that shoebox gift for weeks and even for months, like a teddy bear, because I didn't want anybody to touch it. But there was something really, really special. And it was the picture of the little girl who packed my shoebox gift and the note that said, Jesus love you and I love you too. I kept that picture for me for a long time because even though I didn't know that little girl, she became part of my family. That's how special my shoebox was for me. At the age of 13 years old, the directors didn't have financial support for my class to continue going to school. So due to that, I have to cook in a kitchen for 120 kids. One specific Sunday when I didn't have to cook, I took that box with me to the mountains and the orphanage and I was just angry. Angry at God for the life that I was living because I felt hopeless. I felt that I would just cook for the rest of my life. And one of the questions I asked him was, if you are real, show it to me. Show it to me because I don't see you here. I remember opening the box that I had with me and the first thing I saw um, was the picture and the note of the little girl who packed the shoe box. The note that simply said, Jesus love you and I love you too. And the midst of pain, and the midst of struggling, when I felt that God was really far away from me simply because I was an orphan, He was always there for me. That day, I embraced God's love. I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I knew that He had a goal for my life. And even though it was really hard, He was like revealing little by little His plan for my life. And then in 2005, I met my adopted family from Dayton, Tennessee and then the Lord opened doors for me to come here to the States with a full scholarship to play soccer. There you go. Ready? You Number seven! I have coached so many kids since they were six years old. Now they are 14, 15, 16 years old, and you see them, they're taller than I am but I'm still the boss, so they know that. To use that gift of soccer to be able to share the gospel with so many kids, I feel that that's the call that God has given me. I wanna impact as many kids as I can so that they can know of Jesus, so that they can know of His love for them is unconditional. The ultimate gift of God, okay? He gave His Son Hey, the most precious thing he had, he gave it for us. We don't have to earn anything. This is something that I love to do uh, because I know that at the age of six years old, when I received my shoe box, it really impacted my life. It's a joy to be able to have a packing party. To see some of the kids that I coach to pack shoe boxes with me, and having like the big smile on their face and like having so much fun, that is incredible. 
Ever since 2008, I've been packing shoeboxes. I really have a passion for it. The shoebox is just a tool to reach a child. They have the opportunity to receive the gospel and be discipled. That gives me more energy and gives me like the goal to pop more and more shoe boxes every single year. We pray that these boxes would be a blessing. God, you know where they're going even when we don't. And so we pray for each child that's going to receive a shoe box, Lord, um, that they would come to know your love and your grace. Whether it is in the soccer field, whether it is by packing shoe boxes, I want to make sure that I use every sec of my life to continue making disciples. I see you on top of it. God's plans for me are bigger than what I can ever imagine. This is just the beginning of my story, and I cannot wait just to see what He has next for my life.